Welcome to the Mobi Control video series. In this video, we'll be looking at adding Android devices. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to click on the Android Plus tab, then go down and click on the Rules tab. Go to the top left, right click on Add Devices, and click on Create Add Devices Rule. Now we'll have the Add Device Wizard pop up. And the first thing we have to do is provide a name for the Add Device Rule. We'll call this Add Android Device. We'll click Next. Now you have two different enrollment options, a manual enrollment option or an LDAP-based group membership enrollment option. Now, if you require assistance on how to do LDAP group membership, you can always click on the help button below. For the purpose of this video, we'll choose manual as the default and click next. So now we have to choose which group we'd like to have our device enroll into. We can choose the root group or any of the subgroups that are available. We'll choose on management devices. Let's click next. Now we have user authentication options. So you can utilize directory services through LDAP, set up a required password upon enrollment, or click on no password at all. For the purpose of this video, we'll just leave it at no password required and we'll click on Next. Now we've gotten to the Enable Terms and Conditions portion. Here we can push terms and conditions down to the devices, and this is an optional portion. You can click on the Manage button, and it'll allow you to upload either a text file or an HTML file that will you be using as your terms and conditions. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna leave it at the default and click on Next. Now we're at the Unified Enrollment portion. This area here allows us to use a URL to go to a website to download a specific agent. We can either do this through the Google Play Store or we can download it directly from the server. If you want more information on how Unified Enrollment works in Mobi Control, you can always click on the help button for more information, but we'll click on next. Now we're on to the device name portion. By default, the device name will be called Android Plus with Autonum. Now Autonum is set up as a macro and we can add multiple macros into the device name. You can just go to the right and there'll be a little gear button. Click that. And now we have different macros that you can add into the device name. We'll just leave it as default and click on next. So now we have a summary of everything we've done in the add device rule. And there's an advanced button that you can click for multiple options. If you want some more explanation on these options, you can always click on the help button but now we're going to be clicking on Finish. Now you'll get a pop-up about device enrollment details. This will show you the enrollment ID and the enrollment URL. You can also email these enrollment details to your end users if they wish to do the enrollment themselves. You can click on Close, and everything we've done from that summary page is displayed here in the web console. Now let's look at how this appears on the actual Android device itself. So here we have the device. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to launch a browser on the device. Now we'll navigate to the URL sodi.net forward slash OEM. Once we are on the site, the first thing we have to do is to select a 
manufacturer. In this case, it will be Samsung. And now we have to choose a device agent. Now this is reflective on the version of Mobi Control you are using. So make sure you choose the appropriate agent version to the Mobi Control version you are currently on. So hit download. Once it's downloaded, you can click on install. So we'll be beginning the process here. It's installing Mobi Control. And now Mobi Control is loading. So you will get a pop-up for security permissions to allow or deny. So just click on allow. Now the enrollment ID that we created in the add device rule, this is where we enter it into the app in the text box. So enter in the enrollment ID. Once that is completed, we'll click on the enroll button. Now the agent is beginning to talk to the Mobi Control server. There'll be some pending actions that the user will have to go through. Once you've completed the pending actions, the device will fully enroll into the system. Now the enrollment is complete. If you go back into the Mobi Control web console, you'll find that your device has been enrolled into the Management Devices group. To learn more, please contact a Sodi Sales representative.